It's me, Uposha Shabalala, and we are back again on our breaking new dawn channel. Welcome to year 2022, and I wish you all of the best as we start yet another trying year of this global pandemic as a result of COVID-19. We have been through so much in the last few years. It is unbelievable that we are again about to enter another third year of lockdown, of social restrictions, of in access to our family, friends and loved ones, of challenges and trials that we face in our businesses, in our work areas, as well as even in just our family lifestyles. We have been through so much and have lost so many of our loved ones and have lost so much effort. My gosh, I am reminded of what happened in the land of Judah back in those days when they too lost so much of their agricultural fortune, their agricultural um, efforts through to the locust um, infestation, going for a long time with strife, not finding any joy and successes in any of their harvest. Yes, the times and the optics look very different today, but they're very much the same. And so I thought that today's theme as we begin our first reading for this year, should be to focus on reminding ourselves that God truly can restore all that we have lost as well through these trying times. That what we are going through is not the first time. And this is the beauty of scripture. That truly we are able to learn from those who've been there before and how they too enjoyed God's restorative powers upon their lives. It is important for us as Christians to stay faithful to God's promises. So today I'd like us to read from the book of Joel, from chapter 2, verse 18 to verse 27. May I please invite you to get your Bibles ready in hand and let us start our first reading for this wonderful year, 2022. Amen. And so I will start reading. Then the Lord grew jealous for his land and took pity on his people. In response, the Lord said to his people, I am sending you grain, new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. Never again will I make you a disgrace among the nations. The northerner I will remove far from you, driving them out into a dry and desolate land. They are vanguard to the eastern sea, they are rearguard to the western sea, and their stench will rise, their stink will ascend. What great deeds the Lord has done! Do not fear, O land, delight and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals in the world, for the wilderness pastures sprout green grass, the trees bear fruit. The fig tree and the vine produce their harvest. Children of Zion, delight and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has faithfully given you the early rain, sending rain down on you, the early and the late rains as before. The threshing floors will be full of grain, the vats spilling over with new wine and oil, I will repay you double what the swarming locust has eaten. The hopper, the consuming locust and the cutter, my great army I sent against you. You will eat until you are fully satisfied. Then you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who acts so wondrously on your behalf. My people will never again be put to shame. Then you will know that I am in the midst of Israel. I, the Lord, am your God. And there is no other. My people will never again be put to shame. Oh, amen. Gee, if there's one thing you needed to hear as you begin this year, trying to piece together your plans this year, not seeing a way out, I say to you, this is the way. This is the promise of God's restoration, that indeed he will pay you back double what you have lost as a result of all these trials and tribulations that we have been through. Amen. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to meeting you again in the next few weeks for our next Bible reading. I love you and God bless. Thank you.
Thank you for joining me for yet another amazing Bible scripture reading. Please don't forget to click like and to share this reading with all of your friends and family. And also, don't forget to subscribe for the channel and to hit that notification bell. This is so that you never miss out. Amen. Thank you.